Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we are let's playing Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. In the last episode, we made it to Elfria, and we uh, now are going to go and get the dual blade. Although that's going to take some time to forget. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to go. We reached one town. They're looking for their men, so we're going to go look for those men as well. We're gonna go look for some men! Oh yeah! Who doesn't like hunting for the men? As they're building some sort of tunnel apparatus or something. Well, I don't think, I honestly don't think it's an apparatus, but it is something. Anyways, I think that tunnel Why is this? Danger. Oh right, there is something here. Isn't there something... Like a certain way you have to go or some shit like that? power here. I know this for a fact. There we go. What a pain in the ass that is. Alright, so... We got through that. the kingdom of Odal, I guess. What do we got going on here? Might in the brush up on your cooking skills. Alright, well. The cave west of town leads to the village of Aris. There are four entrances, but only one goes to Aris. Oh yeah, this spot... God, they got more stuff for me to buy. Man, oh man, I need money. Battle axes now. Jeez. It was in just Morningstar that they... The Morningstars, now it's battle axes too. Holy jeez. Oh, I went out. Nice to see me again. This is the first time you ever seen me, and yeah, damn, they got some expensive gear here. I gotta level up or something. Or something. I don't know what the hell I gotta do, but I gotta get money. Maybe I gotta fight some more gold orcs. Maybe they'll give me some money, huh? You ever think about that? Gold orc, give me money. More money than I know what to do with. The town of Leiden is southeast of here. They're awesome cooks. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Oh, yeah, someone's gonna want some food. Ours is west of town. You should be being in the cabin there. The bridge that leads to Ours is broken. Yeah, okay. I remember this. Yeah, so we have to head to Aris, apparently, for some reason. I'm not 100% sure why. I think we find out that maybe, like, what's-his-name is over there or something? I don't remember. Don't go 
downstairs. There's some weird research. Hence, that's why we go downstairs. Welcome to Shyla Lab, Shyla Lab 2. And yeah. Oh! That's why we need to go there. Yeah, well, this is why we need to, we need his assistance. He made a ship that goes underwater. items. Yellow ring, what does that do? Ups the defense big time. And your magic resistance. That would be good for you, to be honest. Your freaking magic resistance is dog shit. Eh, I guess no one's gonna cook it right now, but it's an interesting item. Alright, let's see where I am. Let's try fire on this guy. Yeah, I kind of remember at this point in the game... I kind of lost my sense of direction on like where things are in relation to other things in the world. It can get a little tricky, you know? It can get very tricky. Oh, this, these must be all those caves. All right, so we're directly west, or yeah, west of where we're, of uh, that area there. Let's go this way. And let's head this way. Check out all the other spots that are here. Must be the other Shiloh lab. Good music here, though. Very science. Very science. I just like to check and see the flowers. Oh, maybe that's why I think I came here. I was supposed to come here earlier. Okay, so there's a bunch of lot. Oh wow, look at that! I didn't even think I could look in here. Wow, I, I I didn't even think I could look in there. Wow, no wonder why I was always looking for the Isle Forfeit. No. Interesting to know. Look at that. I didn't even know that these these things had things in them. Look at that. I wasn't even bothering looking in them because I figured there was nothing. But maybe I'll go back and look. A lot of stuff to visit for sure. It's locked. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Let's leave here. And I want to say... I know where I am now. Or maybe I don't. Oh, this... The name of this is Platina. I think we're playing... I think we're, uh... I think we're, uh... We're officially in, uh... Valkyrie Profile World. With Platina. Great, I just used flame on nothing. Ooh, nice experience. Maybe I'll have to fight around here for a little bit. Anyways, let's go back to Platina. 
seriously, this is, uh, where's, uh, Lucian? Yeah, I can't believe I remembered his name. That was a good game. You know what, the only thing, I would love to LP that, the only problem with that is there's this guy called Crime and Partner, and he did an LP of that, in which it was pretty much, pretty much like the best thing I've ever seen. One of the best LPs of a game I've ever seen. He was very, very, uh, thorough on everything. And, like, honestly, if I didn't LP that game, there'd be nothing for me to add. That's how good that LP was. And I usually don't say that about, like, a lot of LPs. But, honestly, that one was so good. He was one of those Let's Players, like, Prime and Partner. We got new enemies here. Prime and Partner was one of those LPers that was just like, he was like a, he was like a lightning, you know what I mean? He was here, he lit up the LP community, like, with his amazing, with his, uh, you know, his terrific, uh, videos, and then he just disappeared. It's kind of a shame, because he was awesome. He did a LP of, uh, I don't know where I am. Okay, there, there's Oval. But yeah, he did an LP of, uh, of Castlevania Symphony Night, which I would honestly say is the, the pinnacle Symphony in the Night Let's Play. Because it, like, he got every item. He showed off, like, all the secrets, everything. I mean, there was nothing more he could have done. It was a great LP, is what I'm getting at. And yeah, he only did, like, a couple. And one of them happened to him, apparently. Like, I guess real life eventually hit him, and he wasn't able to do anymore. And, uh, it's a shame, because he was really good at it. He was very, uh, he was very, um... He was very informative. He kind of, he's kind of like what I base my LPs on. To be honest, when I first started, I tried to be as informative, and he always had a, he had like a catchphrase like "See you next crime." He was a hell of an LP. -er. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, let's. I don't know where I'm going. I mean, I know where I'm going. I gotta go back to Aris over there. But let's go to this place. Oh, look at that harpies. Although they look more like shrimp. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of look like shrimp. I guess I'll just use. Alright, so these guys are strong against explosions. They're also strong against fire. Alright, that's good to know. Okay, maybe that's the harpy's hair there. I always thought it was like a fish. I always thought it was like a fish head. But maybe it's just the harpy's hair. And you really can't see their eyes. Yeah, that makes more sense, I guess. Oh, finally we learned a new ability, a new spell, Bolt. Oh yeah, you know what? I didn't finish checking out... I didn't finish checking out, uh... What the hell was it? That, that castle. I gotta go back. After I'm done defeating these. After I get to the next town. I'm pretty sure the next town is just around here. But yeah, we're fighting freaking the Great Pumpkin over here. But, uh, yeah. Good L. That guy was a great LP here. He did a Final Fantasy, like, initial equipment run, which was pretty interesting. Although he didn't really do, like, a, a commentary over that stuff. But yeah, Crime and Partner. If you never saw any of his videos, uh, I would I would suggest check him out. He's pretty cool, like I said. Alright, there we go. Alright, let we're over here at this town. This is Leiden. We'll be right back. Let's uh, warp back to Oval. 
because I did not do it right. Or Odell. Or Odell. I'm thinking of uh, Sukoden. Anyways, let's seal up. Welcome, it's 80 gold pieces a night. Won't you take a rest? Sure. Alright, now let's go let's go to the castle and do what I was supposed to do in the first place. Figure out where the hell this bridge maker guy was. I got a little off track. We found a speed potion. A mind potion and a great potion. Aruga? Argo or whatever the hell's name? Speed uh Jiren. Mind Lufia. There we go. Too bad we didn't get we don't get like a magic uh, a magic defense potion. That'd be nice. Really, you designed the castle. It's kind of nice. It's kind of big too. Let's keep checking downstairs. Yeah, there. You know, let's play. So, you know, the people on YouTube honestly come and go. Not everybody sticks around. I've been trying to stick around. It's... Yeah, I, I, uh, I, uh, I went down there and I got lost. Well, not lost, but... But yeah, you know, it's hard to be someone on YouTube and stay consistent and all that. It's hard, you know? I've been around, I don't know how many years now. It feels like forever. Eventually, you know, I mean, I will always have games to play, but you know, after a while, you start to get, you get a little, little, you gotta lose, you lose a little bit of that, that fire that you had for it, and you just gotta take a step back and be like reevaluate it, and then just come back to it with, with the, uh, you know, fire, because you don't wanna, you don't wanna be like, uh, you know, have it burned out. Yeah, well. Alright. Yeah, I'll go over there. Alright, I'll go over there. Yeah, he seems like a cool dude. Alright, so we have to head over to Leiden. But before we do, let's do a little more exploring of the world. Try to collect a little more gold, too. Preferably over here. What's over here? Let's show off Bolt. I'll show you this. The nice thing about Bolt is if you equip that flash ring again, Bolt will do even more damage. It's pretty much like the level 2 version of, uh, whatever the hell that one that I had, um, uh, Flash. You know, cause there's pretty, there's pretty much, uh, three versions of each spell. You know, the, the weak, the middle, and then the strong version. Fire should work good against these trees. These guys kind of remind me. Granted, you know what? Probably, honestly, you know, they got a lot of enemies. Uh, you know, Dragon Warrior probably got a lot of enemies from like Dungeons and Dragons or whatever. But these guys feel like sometimes when I was playing this, I was like, oh, these guys are from Dragon Warrior 2. I feel like I, I see a lot of similarities between the two. You know? Take care of these guys. Mm, ow, ow, ow. I 
At least three of my characters have stronger now, which is good. Those spells. So we can heal better now. Yeah, there was that cave with that old guy over there, but he didn't really do shit. Also, there's somewhere else where I want to check. If I warp the elf area, right? I go over here. Oh, hey, how's it going? You found the dual blade yet? Blah, blah, blah. I want to check one other thing. Yeah, you know... Yeah, let's see what's over here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I know where we're at. I don't even know why I used Jaren in this. I could just attack and that would probably be better. But that's all right. Anyways, I know where we're at. We're pretty much uh, south of whatever the hell that one town is. I'll show you. near the three towers see there oh come on game yeah so there you go there there's uh there's the tower there I don't know why it takes I don't know why it takes the hero so goddamn long to attack. Like, Jiren gets in two attacks to her one. Or, yeah, his one. It's weird. Alright, here we are. This is the, probably the most you've ever seen anyone ever come back to this town. To be honest. Alright, and there's one other area I want to check out. head this way and see what's over here. Because I really didn't end up checking. I should have. And then I'll end the episode. Oh, you fucker. You rat bastard. I shouldn't say ever. and see what's over here. Oh, there's a shrine. I bet, it's, I bet it's that old man and he's like, oh, you gotta get the dual blade now. And it's like, shit, I know that, dude. Gold orcs should be giving me like a ton of a ton of gold. What's over here? All right, yeah, this old man. Here he is. I protect the world from here. You'll be back again soon, but for now, Professor Riley is in Orr's village. You must travel west through the caves to get there. 
I'll give you part of my power for the next battle. Who are you, old man? Will we ever find out? And yeah, as you open up the doors, you can actually warp back to any of the old spots you were at in the game. Which is kind of nice, I guess. Right, let's see what's south. One thing I do enjoy about this game is I like the fact that, like, as we're, you know, in the beginning of the game, obviously, we're fighting these little tiny guys. But, you know, it's kind of cool to see each creature get bigger and bigger. And, like, the animals, or the monsters that we're fighting are becoming larger and larger. Yeah, these orc guys should really... I think they're just called gold because they have, like, gold plate armor bullshit. Which, in which they should probably just be called, you know, badass bastard. Okay, so this just leads over here, which eventually leads back over there. Alright, let's warp the light and then I'm gonna end it. Let's finish these assholes. What I might do between this episode and the next, I might level up in Platina and, uh, and, uh, what will I do? Yeah, I might level up in Platina and get some money and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna stop the video here. In the next episode, we will explore Leiden. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye bye.